Now I'm going to give you a little bit of insight into what you can expect to see on the CompTIA A Plus 220-1101 Core 1 hardware part of the exam. And this is CompTIA's uh, official objectives PDF. And don't worry if you don't catch all this in the video because I'm actually going to include all of this in the resources for you. Let's take a look at some of the exam details. So the Core 1 has a maximum number of questions of 90. And also, those questions are going to be a mix between performance-based and multiple choice. And you might be wondering what performance-based is. Well, when I take these exams, it seems that they front-load a lot of more simulated type questions. So instead of just answering multiple choice questions, you actually have to show that you know what you know and you have the skills to do what you say you do. So they might walk you through uh, reconnecting a device or maybe identifying some cables and the common adapters at the end. But those performance-based questions are typically front-loaded at the beginning of the exam and they're called performance-based because if you do good on the first one or do good on one, it kind of scales up the difficulty and gives you one a little bit more difficult for the next one. And it keeps continuing like that. So you have multiple choice and performance-based questions on the exam. And you actually have a maximum time of 90 minutes. So this might be something that you might need to practice. I strongly suggest for both exams that you take as many practice exams as possible. You can find them all over online. but. Take them. Take all of them that you can find and time yourself because that time limit is critical and it will come up quickly. And once again, the recommended experience for this is 12 months or more of hands-on experience in a help desk support technician, desktop support technician, or field service technician job role. And the minimum passing score is a 675 on a scale of 100 to 900. So you can miss a few questions and still comfortably pass. So let's take a look at some of the exam objectives and the domains included with the A plus 220-1101. As we can see here, mobile devices is actually up quite a bit. So we have about 15% of our questions on mobile devices, which is going to uh, cover anything from uh, your cell phones, tablets, even laptops. All sorts of things about troubleshooting hardware and software and dealing with malware and uh, BYOD and just all sorts of topics are baked into the mobile devices section. Then we have 20% of the questions composed in networking, right? So we talk about LANs and WANs and wireless WANs and all sorts of ways that we can connect and communicate online. Then we get into the one of the bigger portions is the hardware section. You need to know how to identify certain pieces of hardware and cables and adapters and also know which scenarios you should use those in. And we also have a, one of the newer additions is the virtualization and cloud computing. Hey, we are virtualizing everything these days. And CompTIA is making note of that by making 11% of this exam about virtualization and cloud computing. And finally, we have hardware and network troubleshooting, which composes almost a third of the exam. So hopefully that clues to you, or hopefully that clues you in that you need to really focus on that area, especially the CompTIA A plus troubleshooting theory steps. And there we go. That's the main objectives and some details about the CompTIA A plus 220-1101 Core 1 hardware exam.